This is a very complicated issue, but in short, yes, they can. There are some major misconceptions regarding stealth, mainly the myth that the stealth plane is invisible. A more accurate description is that stealth makes the aircraft smaller. When radar waves hit an object, they will reflect back in different directions, depending on the object's shape. Since aircrafts have very complicated shapes, with the wings, cockpit, vertical stabilizers, bombs, etc., it is almost guaranteed that some of the radar waves will be reflected back to the radar station. Stealth is a whole field of study dedicated to reducing the amount of radar waves that are reflected back to the radar receiver. This is accomplished in two main ways. First, the shaping of the aircraft to deflect the radar waves away, and the second is coating the aircraft with material that can absorb the radar waves. The amount of radar waves an object reflects back to the receiver is measured by what is called its radar cross-section, or RCS. A typical fourth generation fighter has an RCS of approximately 5 to 10 square meters, whereas a stealth aircraft will have an RCS thousands of times smaller. Radar detection range is in proportion to the fourth root of its RCS. So, for example, if a radar can detect a 10 square meter object from 100 miles away, then an object with an RCS of 1 square meter would not be detected until it is 56 miles away. And with a stealth fighter like the F-35, with an estimated RCS 2,000 times smaller, it wouldn't be able to be detected by that radar until it was within 15 miles. Now these detection ranges vary drastically depending on the frequency of the radar being used. Lower frequencies have longer waves, some measuring several feet long. Longer waves are much more likely to detect these stealth aircraft. This is because to absorb radar waves and not to reflect them, the thickness of the coating is proportional to the length of the waves. So a lower frequency radar with a wave that is several feet long would require the aircraft to have several foot thick coating completely surrounding it to absorb the radar. Obviously, this is not realistic for a fighter jet. This is the way which the Russians and Chinese can detect the American stealth aircraft with lower frequency radars. And these types of radars were the kind used to shoot down the stealth F-117 in Yugoslavia back in 1999. The surface-to-air missile site used a Russian lower frequency P-18 radar to detect and track the stealth jet. The P-18 radar uses a frequency with waves approximately 10 feet long, which is way too long to be absorbed by the F-117 stealth coating. However, there are several problems with lower frequency radars. One is that creating such a long, low frequency wave requires very large antennas. The size of the antenna, again, is directly proportional to the frequency it can create. Such large radars are too big to be carried by aircraft, so they need to be stationed on the ground and large radars are typically less mobile, meaning that their locations can be known and simply avoided by the stealth aircraft. Another issue is that they are much less precise than higher frequency radars. Because of the long waves, it is much harder to pinpoint the exact location of the aircraft, and is typically not precise enough to guide an interceptor missile to shoot down the aircraft. The F-117 shootdown was an exception to this, mainly because it was within only a few miles of the radar, and as stated earlier, stealth does not make an aircraft invisible, just not able to be detected until it is much closer. And finally, passive radar could be used, theoretically, to detect stealth aircraft. Basically, passive radar is similar to active radar, except it does not send out its own radio waves. It relies on other transmissions, like AM or FM radio, television, or even GPS signals. The radar receiver can detect these transmissions and also the reflection of these transmissions off the aircraft and then calculate its location based on the time difference. This technique is beneficial, mainly because these stealth aircraft are designed to be stealthy against the most commonly used military radar frequencies, so using a variety of different frequencies from different sources can better detect the aircraft. This technique, however, is very complicated and typically requires more receivers to triangulate the aircraft's location. It also requires extremely sensitive receivers, as the transmissions and signals are typically much weaker than active radar.